Okay, so today we're talking about experimental design. I'm Dr. Poe, and we're going to identify independent and dependent variables and identify appropriate controls for an experiment. And so this is going to change depending on what experiment that you're doing. So keep that in mind. Okay, so in this scenario, you are a tomato gardener. For the last three seasons, you have placed your tomato plants in an area partially blocked by shade during two hours of the day, yielding 30 tomatoes per plant on average. You want to see if planting in an area with more sun will increase your tomato yield. So we're adding in more sun here. So the first thing that I do whenever I'm presented with a scenario like this is I phrase it like a question, and that question is, what is the effect of blank on blank? Okay, so there's our question, and this is how we're gonna identify our independent and dependent variables. So our first question is, so the first blank there is what we're changing and the second blank is what we're going to measure. Okay, so what we're changing is more sun, and what we're measuring is tomato crop yield. Okay, so the more sun right here, right here, the more sun, that is going to be our independent variable. And the dependent variable, so the independent variable is what you're changing. The dependent variable is what you're measuring. And so we're measuring our tomato crop yield. So more sun will increase our tomato crop yield. That's the hope. So our hypothesis is that putting it in an area with more sun will increase our tomato yield. Okay, so we've identified the independent and dependent variables. And this is going to help us with our controls. So remember that the positive control is something that you already know will work. This is going to give you a positive result. So we already know that the area partially blocked by shade is going to yield 30 tomatoes per plant on average. So that's actually going to be a great positive control here. And you can probably think of others as well. There's In many experiments, there's multiple positive controls. So we know that shade two hours per day we know that yields 30 tomatoes per plant on average. So that is a fantastic positive control because we know it's going to work. We already know exactly what's going to happen. We have measurements for that. The negative control, this, the point of the negative control is really to kind of show that the effect that you're seeing isn't due to something else. So the negative control, um, that's kind of like called the water effect or the placebo effect. So what we could do for this one is take away all the sunlight and make sure that the plant isn't growing because of something else. So, um, so this would be like our placebo or the water only group. So in this case, we, we could put it in no sunlight. And in that case, we're kind of expecting it not to grow at all. It's not going to have any yield at all. And um, so this is our negative control because we know it's not going to work. And if it does work, that tells us our experiment's invalid. Okay. And then, once we've established our positive controls and our negative controls, so we can kind of relate that back to the independent variable, right, and the dependent variable. So the effect of more sun, so sunlight is kind of what we're changing here. So we're looking at a sunlight condition that we already know, and then we're completely taking it away. And then for our experimental group, we know that we want to increase the amount of sunlight because that's the goal here. That's the hypothesis that more sun will increase the tomato yield. So the experimental group, that's what you're physically going to change and then you don't know if it's going to work or not. Hopefully it does, maybe it doesn't. So for the experimental group, we're going to have maybe multiple groups, maybe shade for one hour a day and we could have shade for zero hours a day and we would measure the tomato yield. Okay.
And so that's our experiment. We would keep everything else consistent. We would keep the same soil, the same type of tomatoes. We would water them consistently. Uh, we keep the same fertilizers. We would keep everything else that we could possibly control exactly the same. And the only thing that we are changing is the amount of sunlight it has. So just a, a little bit more or two hours more and see what effect that has on the tomato yield. Thank you for listening.